Yo, it's Ace Deuces, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my Toronto Blue Jays hat collection. So a bit of history about my Toronto Blue Jays hat collection. I've been a fan of the Toronto Blue Jays since the early 2000s. So basically, since the days of like Carlos Delgado and Vernon Wells, when, do, when they were doing it big, you know what I'm saying? And rest in peace, Roy Holiday, one of the greatest Blue Jays pitchers of all time. And then I've also been a fan of the Blue Jays in the 2010s, you know, like Marcus Stroman and like Jose Batista. Everyone remembers that home run, you know what I mean? Everyone remembers that home run, bro, the bat flip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Against the Rangers. Everybody know that one, bro. Trust me. It's that home run and the Joe Carter 93. You know what I'm saying? Two biggest home runs, bro. In Blue Jays history. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. And even I'm a fan of the Blue Jays today. You know, with Vlad Jr., Bo Bichette. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I've been a Blue Jays fan forever, bro. That's why I collect the hats. You know what I mean? Because it means something to me. You know what I'm talking about? So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so my first hat is going to be the early 2000s Toronto Blue Jays hat. So this is a retro hat. So basically, it's the old logo here. It's got the gray under visor, white sweatband, and it also has the um, white and blue batterman here. And the tags are right here, in case y'all are wondering. And yeah, man, this is actually like a really cool hat. Like it reminds me of like the old days, you know, like uh, Carlos Delgado and Vernon Wells and like Eric Hinsky and you know what I mean? Like that early 2000s Blue Jays, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I grew up on. Like when I was a kid like watching it on TV, that's what I grew up on, bro. Like this is why it's a nostalgic hat, you know what I'm saying? Like where I got this hat, one of my homies actually got this hat when he was in New York and he copped it for me, you know what I mean? Yo, shout out to Hassan, bro. I believe he copped it at um, 4U Caps in the Bronx, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I remember like, Dude was Instagram live with me saying, yo, which hat you want? I saw this one, I'm like, bro, cop this hat, bro, for real, for real, give me this hat, you know what I'm talking about? Bro, trust me, man. It's a really cool hat. I, like, I wear this hat all the time. Ask any of my homies, bro, like, I wear this hat, like, at least, like, once every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? All right, so the next hat I'm gonna show you is the Toronto Blue Jays 1993 World Series hat. So, as you can tell, it's a retro hat, so it's got the old logo, gray under visor, white sweatband, and it also has a red batterman at the back. And as you can tell, I've worn it quite a bit. It's yellowing a little bit. And it's got the World Series patch 1993 on the side like right here. Um, so this is an iconic hat because in 1993, Joe Carter, bam, biggest home run in history. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like walk off home run, ninth inning. Bro, this is an iconic hat, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's when we went back to back. That's when the Blue Jays went back to back. And don't watch that, bro. Blue Jays are gonna go back to back again. You know what I'm saying? I gotta believe in them, bro. We're gonna win the AL East this year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you already know, man. But yeah, it's a cool hat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mainly wear a lot of like black or like navy hats. So this like blue is really loud, but I still wear it because you know it's my hometown. So you know what I'm saying? I'm from the Toronto area, so I gotta I gotta rep this. You know what I'm saying? Now for my next hat, I got this hat right here, but it's not an on-field hat. I know it looks like an on-field hat, but it's not, and I'll tell you why. So it has a current on-field logo and has a current on-field color, right? But it has a gray under visor and white sweatband instead of a black under visor and black sweatband. And it also has a red batterman at the back. And the current on-field Blue Jays does not have a red batterman at the back. Now the reason why I got this hat is because it has that like retro feel to it because the retro hats from like the 2000s had like the gray under visor white sweatband and it reminded me of that. So that's why I got this hat, you know what I'm saying? Now for my next hat, I have this Toronto Blue Jays 1991 All-Star Game hat. Now it's all navy here and it's also all navy at the back with a navy batterman and has a red under visor, white sweatband. Now to be honest bro, like I know I usually get the side patches because it means something to me but this is like probably one of my only hats where I just got this hat because strictly because of the colorway. Now with that, the 1991 All-Star Game hat, to be honest bro, I wasn't even born in 91. So it's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really get it because of that, you know what I'm saying? I got it because of the colorway. I know, I know. I know I'm big on baseball, but to be honest, it's like one of the only times that I really like this hat, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause usually when I get like side patch hats, it's like, all right, it's cause it has like history behind it or like, cause I watched it, you know what I mean? But it was one of the rare times where I'm like, bro, it's just cause I really like the hat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm still a Blue Jay fan though, don't watch that, huh? <laughs> all right, so for my last hat, it's actually not a fitted, it's actually a snapback. It's this Toronto Blue Jays black and gold hat. Now, as you can tell here, look at this, look at this brim right here, bro. Look at this brim, dog. Like, I'll tell you something, bro. This is from like, I'd like to say like 2014, 2015, 
Cause like, look at this brim, bro. Like, remember like back in the day when Big Sean used to wear those Mitchell and Ness hats, and it had like the like the alligator print. Well, this is like not alligator print, but like it was like kind of like the trying to imitate that material. And I remember like snapbacks were all the craze, so I got this snapback. Now, as you could tell, it's like black under visor, black sweatband. You know what I'm saying? It's actually not a new era. It's actually a 47 brand hat. It's probably one of my only 47 brand hats. Now, why this is significant is because they actually got this hat at the Rogers Center. Um, I was there right before the game. I forget which game to be honest, bro. Like, it would have to be like one of the games where like, I think Strowman is still on our team, Jose Batista still, still on our team. Like, it was a while back, bro. But I remember like, yo, I was like, I saw this hat and I was like, yo, this is sick, bro. Let me get this hat real quick. You know what I'm saying? Right before the game started. That's the only thing I remember. I got this right before the game started, bro. So I took off, I think I had like a fitted hat. I took that one off, put this one on. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to wear this hat a lot though, bro. Like every day, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I used to wear this hat all the time. Like cleaned it up a little bit for the video, but like I don't really wear it anymore. But like, yo, if you saw how it looked before, bro, it was like dusty, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I cleaned it up for the video, look nice, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I used to wear this hat all the time. Ask all my, any of my homies, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, significant. I got this at the arena, yo. Yo, I had to put my favorite hat back on real quick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yo, this is Ace Deuces. This is my Toronto Blue Jays hat collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more content. And this is Ace Deuces, and I'm signing out. Peace.